Okay. Hello, my name is Silvia Nietzsche. I'm from Brazil and I work in a Brazilian university, University of Montes Claros. Nowadays, I'm here in the United States, University of Florida, doing a, a excellent work about Jatropha uh, uh, here in TREC, Tropical Resource Education Center. We are doing a partnership between both universities to improve genetic uh, of Jatropha Jatropha curcas. Well, nowadays we are evaluating 64 genotypes of Jatropha curcas from uh, 12 different countries and are doing morphological and molecular characterization. We have seen a lot of difference between these genotypes. We are analyzing more than 20 different characteristics, number of branching, number of inflorescence, inflorescence set, total number of flowers per inflorescence, ratio between uh, uh, female and male flowers, uh, the fruit set, the, the weight of fruit, the weight of seed, the length, the dry, fresh seed weight. It's a lot of different characteristics and important characteristics to select some genotypes in the future to make breeding in this uh, uh, species. Well, uh, some a lot of different uh, characteristics I've been realizing the difference between uh, two genotypes about the flowering. Yes, this genotype is from Costa Rica and we just we have just female flowers. This one are female flowers and we can see a lot of female flowers just female in this inflorescence. This one is another genotype from Costa Rica and we can see the difference because here we have male flowers and here female flowers and we can see the difference between these genotypes you can check the difference well this one we have more male flowers than this and we have female flowers so uh, Besides this, we have a lot of different, some genotypes has start, the leaf initiation has started on February 25, and another ones, the leaf initiation has started on March 15, and flower initiation, fruit initiation, and harvest, it's so different between these genotypes. Well, we have collected leaves from these plants and we take to to lab and we extract DNA and now you use some molecular markers to, to achieve the difference and genotype using microsatellites and RAPD markers to check the difference between them. The next step will make some crosses and you will obtain a uh, uh, families from full seeds and family from half seeds of plants you making some crosses using Mexico as female genotype because it's a non-toxic genotype it's very important in the future when you uh, want to feed to animals use the the, 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 the the seeds to feed animals and this genotypes is a lot of female flowers and it's uh, uh, the, uh, it's a lot of uh, quantity of fruits in the plant and you can use how male genotypes different ones like Costa Rica like another one as India is a good genotype is the the seed weight the the fruit weight uh, a lot of quantity of fruit in the plant the fruit set it's a lot of good characteristics in that plant that you can use to select these genotypes